So we're on our way to Lake County Jail. We've been there a couple times. Clayton's been once, I've been three times. I say to everybody who ever asks me, the scariest place I've ever been it's true. is Lake County Jail. You always say that. It's terrifying. We've got a friend with us. Well, Clayton brought a friend. Yeah. And this is your first investigation? First one. Are you excited? Just terrified. Buddy. Good, you should be. Because it is going to be terrifying. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> so yeah. scary. So, how long have you been with the paranormal? I mean, still pretty new to this. Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, so you haven't watched like all the shows on oh, yeah, yeah. TV and no, stuff? Have, okay, yeah. cool. I have watched Oddity Files. Uh, done some urban exploration. Nice <laughs> choice in, yeah. in, in TV shows, by the way. Have you ever experienced something that you can't really explain? I don't know. I don't. I have been in places that have had activity but I've never experienced any for myself. So I guess I'm a skeptic in a lot of ways. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Right. I'm interested to see how you feel about things after tonight. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the perfect location to bring you for your first investigation. So. I'm excited. Carter, sick, food poisoning. That guy, he misses out on all the scary places. All the scary places. All of them. Should have told him to keep his phone close to his ear in case we have to FaceTime him. Yeah, right. All night. <laughs> if he didn't get any sleep last night, <laughs> it's the last place I'd have my phone. Yeah, true. We're headed to Griffith, Indiana, which is where I grew up. And go Panthers. We're headed to the big urban legend. You know how everybody growing up, there's just, you know, everybody talks about this one thing that's paranormal or haunted. Everybody talked about Rita Road. And the legend I had heard growing up was it, it's just an urban legend that is everywhere it's you know the couples making out in the car all of a sudden they hear these noises outside their car and then they finally get out to look at somebody hanging above their car and they're hearing the feet scraping what? on the top and they open up the car door and there's a hook hanging from it I don't remember the whole entire story but it was really good when my friends would tell me it and it would terrify me that's why we're heading there in complete daylight <laughs> But I've done some research and come to find out there might be a little bit of truth to the urban legend. So Lake County, Indiana was huge with uh, mafia activity right. in the 30s. Yeah. Rumor has it that they would dump a lot of bodies on Rita Road. I didn't even know this till I was researching it. And one of the stories was there was a couple out there, you know, Lover's Lane, making out, whatever, and a body fell out of the tree that the Mafia had dumped there. They dumped them in a tree? Apparently so. The other story that my husband, who also grew up in Lake County, like I did, the story he had heard about Rita Rowe, and you'll see a, a, a young lady out there who claims that her car went off the road. That's what it was. And he'd pick her up because she needed to get home, and then as you drove by the cemetery on Rita Road, she'd disappear out of the car. Like she was just going back to where she was buried. So there's a there's a couple yeah. urban legends going on there. So the mafia stories are, are pretty cool and almost could be legit. Apparently this road just ends and then there's Truck what used to be the road. Well, this is not a real truck. I'm not. I, I've never really been here. Oh hell, we're going to jail. <laughs> are we here? I think so. There should be like an area. This is Rita Road. Yeah. See how it gets sketchy up there? Yep. That's where we're going. Keep, Keep out. out. Keep out. Not an exit. No trespassing. Look at all these signs. <laughs> Can we go over, park over here and I could do a spare box session, you think? Look, even on the mound, it's keep out. I know. Privacy. Because there are bodies in that mound. I mean, it doesn't say keep out of this little area here. Right. Well, that's a pisser. What? We can't go any further down. Well, it's, I think it's just their driveway, is it not? It, it must be. Is this where people would stop and make out? People just make I out? Think it was here? farther, farther down, down there, and apparently they're still trying. But look, it. Maybe the road was where that mound is. Who dumps a body in a tree? Get like the wonder box out? It's your call. Oh. Well, we're here. 
<laughs> so what this does is it scans through radio stations super fast and you can usually tell the difference between radio stations and actual responses because responses are usually more than one syllable sometimes full sentences um, but I am here to talk to any spirits that may be here on Reader Road. I'm Kitsy, we've got Clayton, we've got James. Is there anybody here from the Mafia? That's who I want to talk to. I want to know how you were killed. I heard a couple of you trying to come yeah. through. This is the most hill jack yeah. ghost investigation ever. <laughs> Back of a tailgate. Back in my hometown. I want to know more about the people that were brought here after they were killed. What was your nickname? Everybody had a nickname back then, right? Thank you, right? Yeah. Does it bother you, all the people that come out here? That was a male voice. Yeah. Harvey? Was it Harvey? Can you just say yes or no? Harvey, were you brought here or did you die here? If you aren't able to, to talk to us, it is okay for you to touch us just so that we know that you're here. It sounded like the same voice. You can take energy from me. If it helps, you're coming through loud and clear when you want to. Can you tell me your name? Who's a child or female? Who's a type of, like a younger girl. You're doing great. Can you tell me your name? Is it Harvey? Nothing. It's the same voice. Over and over. It's so weird. I have weird anxiety right here, right now. I can't even explain it anything other than anxiety. Maybe. What'd you hear? Now we're no. out. If you want us to leave, you have to tell us to leave. But if you want us to stay, we can stay for a little bit. At least till it gets dark. Then I'm gonna run. Something just pulled my hair. One strand. Are you a little blown away right now? Yeah. It's kind of insane, isn't it? It is. Do you have a story to tell us? Do you have something we should know? No, there's nothing. No. It's your last, your last hurrah. Give me something and we're gonna leave. Okay, well we thank you for your time. Two distinct voices. Stuff, but at the same time, it was never like really intelligent. No, no, but it was the same two voices. Right. One female. Which is odd, especially man. with the area that we're in. I thought it was going to be polluted. Oh, I, I really did too. I like, honestly did. Absolutely, you know, a mess.
Well, and for anybody watching, I mean, this is right outside of Chicago. Right. You get all Chicago radio, news, TV, everything here. It's just, you know, a hop, skip, and a jump from Chicago. So the fact that there were, like, no radio stations blew my mind. None. <laughs> That's it, the biggest. And it was the same two voices every time still puzzled by the information we received at Rita Road, we headed out to the Lake County Jailhouse. This place is most notoriously known for John Dillinger breaking out of here back in the days of the gangsters. Hmm, there's a little theme going on here. This is the location I consider the scariest place I have ever investigated. I've been a little nervous about this for a couple days. The lore and legend of the place is shadow figures, it's people touching you, it's EVPs constantly. So I can't wait to get the Wonder Box in there and see if we can figure out more about these people. But come on in with us. We brought a friend with us and we're gonna have a good time. Come on. judge you, we're not here to hurt you, we're not here to take you away. We're just here to tell your story. So if you'd like to interact with us, we'd love to play. There's someone in here that's trying to keep uh, Kitsy back. Are you intimidated by her? Because if you're going to try to strong arm her, then this is going to be a long night. Because she can be feisty. <laughs> no. Not me. But again, we aren't here to hurt you, so it'd be awesome if you didn't hurt us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so something doesn't want me to go around the corner over there, so I'm going to go around the other way. Wait, Christina, when you get to the end of the hallway, don't enter the cell yet. Okay. So now that it's just me and you, and she's gone, can you give me so some sort of affirmation that you did not want her to come back here? We just want to document you. No, I just want to know why he didn't want you to come back here. Oh, I have a feeling he's going to tell me later. <clears throat> Fuck it, I'm going in. See, the closer I get to you, I feel in my throat. Really? You don't intimidate me. What do you got? What do you got for me? What do you feel? I'm coming in here. I'm good right now. I just hate the reason I hate jail so much is like There's you can always there. see through, yeah. and so your eyes are always playing tricks on you. Oh fuck! I hate when I cannot see in front of me. I know, and I really don't want to turn the flashlights on because it I just know, takes it I'm away. I know, I'm only looking at the damn screen and that's what scares me so much. Because I am blind. That last cell hates me. Oh, I'm not going to let them for intimidate me. Whoa. What? I don't know, I just got like a... Oh, yeah. The moment I walked into this hallway. I don't know if you remember me, I know you get a lot of visitors. But we kind of had a special little relationship going on here, I thought, anyway. We come in with all of our fun equipment here. My leg feels like it's vibrating. Your leg? Yes. Which one? Because when I was walking down this hallway, like, I got like a, in my left leg, it was like a, not like someone grabbed it. Yeah. It just kind of like, oh, different. It felt different. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Did you? I just got like vertigo. Like, no. Hardcore vertigo. Like I felt, I thought this was a door because I put my arm against it and I thought it was moving. 
I'm not kidding. Are you okay? Do you need to sit? Yeah, no, it just like weirded me out because I went to like lean on this and I felt it move. That was weird. Note that any mist I'm seeing on the camera is legit my breath. Uh, that was so weird. Hi guys, my name is Kitsy. Brought my friends, Clayton. My hair again. Oh, like that. I thought we were dying. I've been having these with my hair in so long. I brought my friends Clayton and James. We just came to document you. We're not here to hurt you, harm you, or judge you in any way, shape, or form. We're just here to tell your story. She's probably going to judge you at some point this night. I, if you don't interact, I might. How are you feeling? Besides at the top of that landing, and it wasn't like... It was just quick. Well, it wasn't, I don't want to like call it anything paranormal. I just, I leaned up against that wall and it literally felt like it was moving. And I just like lost all sense of like my center. These damn hallways just like echo when you're walking. So it always sounds like there's someone walking yeah. behind you. Like that. Right. That was something though. You, oh, for real? Yeah. Can you walk closer to us? There's someone in there that's upset. Do you hear that, Christina? Like a woman crying, I like very faint crying, and like with a little like voice in it. Like, <laughs> am I losing my damn mind? No, welcome to my world. I'm serious. I don't hear it, but that doesn't mean you didn't hear it. I do. You hear it? I heard. I just heard it a little bit. That was weird. I like really thought I heard it. I always tilt it the wrong way. I'm like, hey, I know. Or charge the wrong way. I thought it was just me. Fred, it hurts you, harm you, take you away. We just want to tell your story. We want to tell it to the world. Or at least YouTube. Amazon. Amazon Prime. There is a lot of residual energy in this room, I feel. Welcome to a jail. I feel like every jail has residual. I mean, just think about how many people have been in and out of here and how many guards may lapse through those right. hallways. And I thought this Christmas tree was a shadow. What was that? It was like a spider web. What was that? Christina, I'm going crazy. What'd you I'm see? going What'd you crazy. See? What'd you see? I just saw like the a fucking outline of a person, and then when I turned back and looked, there was nothing there. But I know, I know that I saw it. What did you see, Mike? We're just we're just walking through here, and this is like my bad. This is like a big common area, and as soon as I I just like turned my head and looked. And it was like it was like halfway in that room, I, as if a person were standing there, but I didn't expect to see anything, so I like did that, and then when I looked back, obviously it was gone. I'm, uh, ugh, I did not like that. No, I'm gonna go in here. Ugh. Christina, where are you? Um, we're back where the d dark mass was. Who's here? Pockets of heat. What? Like, you feel like a pocket of heat. What the fuck was that? No, that was one of those tin things off that tree that I heard earlier. What the fuck? It was? That was definitely. Did it fall? Did you walk by it? No, I didn't. No. Was that it? Yeah. We didn't touch it. We did not touch it. And now it fell off. No, when I walked in, I walked straight down. We didn't go anywhere after it. That's exactly what it was. I walked halfway, turned around, and just came back. You see, one of them is swaying still. I see it. Where? That one, I want to. 
Is it because I rushed over here? We've been on hunting up here for weeks and none of them have ever fallen off the moon. Really? I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, this one in my hand feels like an ice cube. Like it hurts my finger to touch it. Um, I definitely think we should put a, like a GoPro um, in this room. Yes. Are you going to motion detector? Yes. Because that was weird. So we just finished the walkthrough at the Old Lake County Jail and Sheriff's House. And this place is amazing. I know I talk about it all the time. It was nice to bring somebody new along as well. I think James was maybe a little taken back by everything, which I don't blame him. The place is insanely, insanely active. The place I hold most dear within the jail, um, we went through in the walkthrough, and it was the Dillinger cell block and they call it that because that's where John Dillinger actually escaped from the Lake County Jail back in the days of the gangsters but there's a spirit there I've seen his rap sheet they call him fur and he's been the most interactive with me spirit I've ever I guess met in my entire life so I cannot wait to kind of sit down and have it out with him. You know, Clayton's got Walter. Well, I've got fur. So, and then in in the Universal, the the general population, the actual poltergeist activity. I have never ever in my life witnessed something like that. I just think this little walkthrough kind of shows how crazy tonight's going to be. So, I can't wait. And I've actually been here before, but never for a full-blown investigation with the Oddity Files crew. So I'm excited to see if the reported, you know, evidence and everything that you hear about is as true as it's hyped up to be. During the walkthrough, something really weird happened that's never really happened to me before. It's very, very dark in these halls, so dark that you can't see your hand in front of your face. And when you have the camera with that little screen in your eyes, it blinds you even more. Um, so I was walking up this staircase, and when I got to the top of the landing, I kind of leaned up against the wall, but the wall moved so I was like oh it's a door so I stepped back a little bit but then I realized it was a wall and that it had not moved and that my center of gravity had just been thrown for some for some reason whether it was the darkness or something paranormal you can say that that knocked me off my center of gravity I don't know and then a little bit later on we were standing around what's called Universal um, and we heard a tin like item hit the ground and so we go to check it out, and it was actually a Christmas ornament that had fallen off this tree that sits in the middle of that, that common space. Um, we had been in there about five, ten minutes prior, at, but no one had touched the tree. And also, even if we had, it had been so long that there's no way that it would have just fallen off. We actually put it back on the tree to see, and there, there wasn't any movement or anything like that. So um, for whatever is here to be this active this early on, it's either exciting or terrifying. So this is a REM pod and it detects energy with this antenna right here. And see how when you touch it like that? Mm -hmm. Now it's never gone off by itself and we think it's broken. We actually had a wonder box session tell us that it is broken, but I'm hoping for the best. Um, we know it can sense temperature changes, so if a spirit passes through it, touches it, goes over it, um, it should light up. Cool. Again, it's never worked. So. Getting the Wonder Box set up right now. What the Wonder Box does is I hook it up to the SB7 Spirit Box. And the Spirit Box scans really quickly through radio stations. What that does is it lends white noise and sounds from radio stations, give the spirits something to manipulate, and then they're able to speak to us. And the Wonder Box has noise reduction, which is really nice, so it's not that drone. Oh, 
<laughs> There's people. And you get voices like that. That was the red. <laughs> what? The <fuck>? what? <laughs> that was amazing. You have just made my entire life. You heard it, right? Is there a GoPro one? No. Oh my god! Let's do that. But we heard it. You were like the red pot. <laughs> Well, because, you know, I just don't think it works. <laughs> if you're in your cell, can you step back out? That device is in front of your cell door. Don't let it bother you. It's okay. It's not going to hurt you at all. <gasps> it's going off. It's going off. What? It's not broken. That's perfect. Thank you so much. And now can you come over here so you can use this device in the corner to talk to us? We want to find out about you. We want to learn about you. Or if you'd rather communicate through the REM pod, that's fine. What the fuck? There's no way. That's awesome. I assume that means they want to interact with the REM pod. Try something. Hit your walker and just see if it... It's not moving. It's not moving. At all. At all. What in the hell? Look, it's like bright. I'm so confused. Are you the shadow figure we saw earlier? Can you... Oh. We've been waiting for this day. Thank you so much. Do you have friends here with you? Christina, I don't know. This is... This is too like. Um? Yeah, look, no, but it's like the same amount of pause in between each one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what I mean now? It's like. Do you think it's for visual? I don't know. I really wanted to talk to the person who knocked the ornament off the Christmas tree. That was impressive. I've never seen anything like that before. To the friend that was over there in the corner, are you gone? Like, I felt my coat move. That's fine, you can touch me. I want to know more about the prisoner in the back corner. Can you at least say hello? Hello. Hello. Are you using the energy from our batteries? That's absolutely okay if you are, just say yes or no. We know what it is. How many spirits are in this common area? Five. Five. I'm speaking directly to the entity that, that knocked the ornament off the tree. What is your name? Coming back. Do you hear that? What did it say? That really quiet female's voice goes, Do that? <coughs> careful. What is it that you're telling us to be careful about? <laughs> Do you prefer just to talk to Clayton? Because you're only talking once I leave. 
Do I intimidate you? I'm not here to intimidate you. I want to know why a big bad prisoner is just scared of a girl. That's a woman. Well, Are you scared of Kitsy? Upstairs? Should we go to cell four? Do you wanna stop the wonder box for a second? It's saying the same thing over and over again. Rebecca has not gone off since. What? Did you move? Nope. I just saw a shadow again. It, the shadow went like that. We got one right there. Did you hear the room up? I sure did. I smell like nasty VO, like a hint of it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to walk all the way around. See if it drums up any activity for you. Wait. Yeah? Did you just now walk across? Yeah. Over here? Go back. I swear I saw something walking. I thought I was already watching you walk across. So then when I saw you, I thought it was James. Go back, like rewalk. Okay. Every time we walk by it now, it's going. Oh, right. It's really weird. Okay. Go. There was someone walking ahead of you. Really? I swear to you, I, I'm not kidding. I thought I was already watching you walk. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, and we've been close together, like, like the yeah. whole way. We haven't gotten more than, like, ten paces uh -uh. apart. You, so the ring pod went off before you got close to it? Yep. Mm -hmm. I saw someone there, and then it went off when you were next to it, Christina. Yeah. That was the second time it went off. Yeah. So the first time it went off, I saw someone walking. Well? Round the corner, I mean... Shut up! We can put you in this long for you to go off now. Oh, now he's just taunting you. It, like, it goes off. And then... So it goes off, and I'm seeing, like, someone walk, and then I see you show up, and it goes off. So then I was assuming James was in front of you, but then I see... James behind you with his face lit up. And that's what... I literally <laughs> saw something walking. Right. Oh, I totally believe you. I don't. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm, like, confused. Right. Because I'm... My eyes have, like... Never done this before. Oh, this place is haunted. There's sh shadow figures galore. This is so weird. Like, I'm... And now it just stopped, Clayton. I mean, it's... That tells me that REM pod is paranormal activity. I, I don't know what to do or say.
That's, that's kind of why we do this, though. Okay. Oh, turn it off. <laughs> Something about this cell has always intrigued me. You were just right behind me? What? What are you James, doing? I thought you were right behind me. No. I saw somebody over my shoulder. I am not even kidding right now. No, I was not. I was here the whole time. Kitsy and Clayton and the K2 in, was this the solitary cell, I think? Who did I just see right behind me? I'm a little freaked out right now. It's okay, I'm glad you showed yourself to me. Are you a guard or an inmate? I literally heard a voice right behind you. Just then? Yeah. Well, I don't know where they would be standing. <laughs> They're not on my damn shoulders. Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Jesus. So we decided to go investigate general population um, after the whole thing with the, the tree, the Christmas tree happened. So we get in there and first off, if you've watched any of our episodes, you know that our REM pod is broken. It, we don't know that it for sure works because it's just never gone off. So we put that back in the corner and then we start doing a Wonderbox session and the, the REM pod goes off. Of course, we don't have any sort of camera on it because why waste the memory card space when it doesn't work? But then it starts going off like intelligently when we ask questions. Um, <laughs> so we get a little excited. Um, yeah. But then moving on, um, Kitsy kind of wanted to know what was back in that corner. So I stayed in like the entrance of Universal and, and her and James walked around. Well, there's this wraparound. Um, like hallway that goes around that whole area when they were starting to come across the back I saw them walking but what I thought I saw walking wasn't actually them and I still have no idea what it could have been because I saw the first person the second person and then the third person which was which was James so the first person wasn't an actual person and I understand it now just about as well as I understood it then um, so what is it I don't know it's I don't know so we wanted to head back to universal or general population as soon as we were done with our walkthrough because that poltergeist activity was insane we wanted to get in there while the getting was good and holy shit did we? First of all, the freaking REM pod went off. Are you kidding me? It was day made. I'm just gonna show you this little dance I did around Clayton because I was so excited again. The device is in front of your cell door. Don't let it bother you. It's okay. It's not gonna hurt you at all. It's going off. It's going off. What? It's not broken. 
So, you know, needless to say, we've been saying for years now, if this thing ever goes off, we'd get excited. Lord, did we only have an inkling of how excited we would get. But even aside from the REM pod, the Wonder Box activity, of course, after I left the room, was legit, dead on, amazing. It told us exactly how many spirits were there, and apparently one left because it started off at five and ended up at four. I, I, the name Richie came over. I don't know. It was, it was, it was spotty, but still legit, if that makes any sense. And then I decided I kind of want to take a walk around the outside of the cells because there's a lot of residual activity captured outside around the cells of a guard that likes to walk around them. And as I did, I think Clayton had his most profound paranormal experience ever. And I, I'm just thinking about it again, and I, just the look on his face when he could not explain what he saw was, it's honestly why we do this. I'm not scared, I'm like confused. Right. Because I, my eyes have like, never done this before. It, it really truly is, and I'm kind of jelly that I didn't see it, I'm not gonna lie. But I can't wait to head up to the log room next. I know I have actually in the past in that room seen a seven foot shadow figure. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some more activity there. You know what's weird is that like last time we were here, I was terrified to be down here. Leave. Who wants us to leave? You tell me your name and I'll leave. Uh. You're coming through, not quite loud and clear. Leave. Please. <coughs> Like a pleading, please. That was scary. That was scary. What do you need, sweetheart? How, how can we help? You know what? I think I heard warden. Uh, you heard what? Warden? Mm -hmm. Is uh, that what you thought you yeah. heard as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Maybe they're calling for the warden. That's what I was Leave. Leave. Tell me your name. Unless they're calling the warden because people are here that aren't supposed to be. Where's cell four? Nate. Nate? I heard Nate. Is Nate in here now? There's a female that said it though. Who who is Nate? We're here to tell your story. Can you tell me your story? Do you have a message for us? Let us. Let us. Heaven. Evans? Did you deserve to be here? Freedom. Freedom. We want their freedom. Help. Help. Again, we cannot help anyone move on. We are here to communicate with you. Yep. That was loud. It sounded like it was like wood moving in here to me. I did. What was it? You did it? Well done. Hmm? Okay, if we're not going to get anything other than you want us to set you free. We're going to have to move on. Thank you for your interaction. I appreciate it. You cannot follow us home. So we just finished up in the log room. It was also solitary confinement and it was also federal. This is where the prisoners would go before they'd go on to the big state prison. So you know that there were some really 
really bad people in and out of these these cell blocks and we we just ran a wonder box session in there because you know it's my favorite but honestly this one really has me thinking it's the fact that they were asking us to free them to send them to heaven even thinking about it right now it, it just kind of tugs at my heartstrings why are they stuck there why can't they move on i mean i can't move them on i don't have that power lettuce lettuce Heaven. Evans. and we got some interesting things um it was it was like they were asking for us to get them out um words like freedom and let us enter heaven um things that kind of set you back a little bit because it makes you wonder if there is something here why are they asking us this um are they miserable here are they wanting to leave just to pass on or or why why are they still here um so it's definitely one of the more eerie types of evidence um because you know as we tell them all the time we are that's not the reason we're here we don't come here to to help them pass over or anything like that we just want to um you know to find out more about them like we say all the time so it was definitely a more interesting session Let's do this, shall we? Yeah. Are you in here? No. Yes, I'm in So the K2 was going off as I was walking into it. Oh gosh. Okay. Here I come. The K2 is going off. It is? So it just went up to orange. Oh shit. We've got a K2 meter on the floor, and we've got the Spiritus app going in the hallway. And I'd like to know who's who's here with me right now. The ground's vibrating. Yeah. I can feel it. I just hit this. No, like, it's vibrating. And I smell. You smell something? Yeah. Musky. You're not safe. We're not safe. Oh. Okay. Can you tell us why we're not safe? He's in here with us. Something touched my face. Something. Like. Like. Like spider webs? No, like what you said. Like, like I the butterfly? Was, yeah. Did you just touch my face? Light that up to orange if you just touch my face. Yes. Yes. Something touched my face. What was nothing fell off this? No. Who just touched Clayton? I need to know your name. That's hot. What the fuck? I think it's going nuts. The thing is going nuts. I've never done that before. Of course I'm sure. Can I be in here with you? Do you want him out of your bed? Make it stop if you want him out of your bed. You want him to stay there? Scared. Okay. James, go in there with him. I got this. No, I'm saying like, I don't, wait. Like, do I move? I, I, yes, try moving. See if that makes it stop. 
They're picking on you and not me this time. I have cold chills on oh, every inch of my body. Yeah. The sound. The sound. The sound. We see you. We see you. Film. Film. We see you film. That thing is driving me now. Do you want me to turn this off? You can't. Come on, give me something! I need you to show yourself to me. I need you to make a sound. Touch me, push me. Give me something. You're the reason I'm afraid of jails. Are you afraid of me now? Fur, where the fuck are you? I'm getting pissed now. We gotta go, man. I, I mean, I saw something for the first time in my life, so... Yeah. Like, I couldn't, like, make out, like, features, but I, I mean, I saw someone walking in front of you. Right. But what's weird is that the rip pod went off. Oh, sorry. The rip pod went off, and then it went off because you walked next to it. Right. And then I realized there was a third person. Okay, man, we gotta call it. Dude, I was looking far forward to our interaction. But that being said, you have to stay here. You can't come with us. Everything we've encountered tonight has to stay here. You do not have permission to come with us, to come with any of our equipment, with anything that we brought here. This is your place of rest, and so it shall remain that way. But we do thank you for your time. So we just wrapped up our investigation in the Dillinger cell and we had um, the app running through the Wonder Box and so I got actually into the like the bed in the cell and this, this the Wonder Box is just saying all this stuff that doesn't really make any sense and then backing up a little bit because the rim pod that never works was working, we still tried to tell ourselves it wasn't working, so we actually replaced the batteries um, with new batteries to see, you know, if it would still go off. Um, so while I'm laying in this bed, we had the rim pod in the cell next to us, and it starts going berserk, like it would not turn off for anything. No one was around it, um, and it just didn't really make any sense. Like we physically had to shut it off because it wouldn't stop. Um, so, I, I don't know, and, and that, during that point in time, it was just such sensory overload because of how loud the Wonder Box was and how loud the REM pod was that, you know, when it all settled down, it, it was just a lot to take in at that time. Um, and then, you know, we've had this, this sensation before where, um, like, like a spider web goes across your face or something that you know it's not an actual spider web, but something has touched your face. Um, it's actually kind of funny watching me swat it away because again you have to remember you can see on the footage because of the night vision but when you're there it's pitch black so you don't know what has touched your face. It might be an actual spider um, and you can't see that like you can see it in the footage so um, it's always exciting to get something like that happen. We ended our investigation of the Old Lake County jail and sheriff's house in my favorite spot. It's Dillinger's cell. It's the place where John Dillinger actually escaped from. It's that entire cell row is where I've had some of my most prominent personal experiences in my entire lifetime. So I was very excited, a little worked up, a little on edge to head back there and I didn't really have anything happen to me. Am I disappointed? Yeah! But I'm excited Clayton got to experience something I had happened to me there in the past. Um, actually, the last time I was there, Clayton was there with me and I had asked Fur, you know, m my guy, 
to kiss me because apparently he's a pervert, blah, 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 blah. I won't go into his full rap sheet. And I felt not like spider webs on my face, but almost like, you know, like if a butterfly was, you know, flying around in front of your face, how you'd feel the air movement. That's exactly what I had felt. So I kind of assumed that it was paranormal activity. It was for actually trying to kiss me. And then Clayton has the exact same experience in the exact same cell three years later. I mean, it's absolutely mind blowing. In the, the REM pod, I, I wanted to throw it by the time we were done with this investigation. I'm not gonna lie. Um, personal experiences galore. It was so great to have James along on this one. And I, I, I really think, you know, his first paranormal investigation is one he's gonna remember for a long time. This location did not disappoint whatsoever. Um, it, there wasn't as much, as much of the evidence that we expected to get. We still got a lot of evidence here, um, which is exciting. You know, it's, it's it's definitely more exciting, more surprising when you're getting the evidence that you're not expecting and new things like the ornament falling off the tree, um, the rim pod turns out works, um, that sort of thing. It's it's a it's a lot more exciting when it happens that way. So, looking forward to wherever we go next. So we just wrapped up with the investigation. Uh, it was my first paranormal investigation ever and Lake County Jail did not disappoint. Uh, it was a crazy night. It was one of those things where since this is all very new to me, I just wanted to sit back and take it all in and whoa, there's a lot happening. These guys were hyping it up to me before I got there. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little worried going into it because I'd heard all these crazy things about all this activity that's happened here. I was a little tense going into it. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to soak everything in um, going into it and there was a lot going on. Um, Clayton was seeing things, things were touching Kitsy, the REM pod is going off, they're freaking off, freaking out because the REM pod is going off and I'm like, what's the REM pod? The thing that stuck with me the most was that Christmas ornament, it was crazy. Um, not gonna lie, leading up to that moment, I was a little, um, I was still feeling very skeptical, but the more and more I think about that Christmas ornament, the more I can't explain it. Just the fact that nobody was around that tree, there was no air movement in that room, the air was so still, um, it just blows my mind how that happened. You know, like I said, I went into it, being a little bit skeptical about things, walking away, uh, it definitely gives me a lot to think about. So thank you guys for letting me join you on the investigation.